How's it going everybody? My name is Zach. I'm with camper van conversion company called Nomadic Rigs and today I'll be showing you guys around our build. Starting off here in the front of the van, we got our Backwoods Adventure Mods front bumper with the 20 inch Pathfinder light bar and then on the outside we have our spots. Inside we have the floodlights and then inside of the bumper rest, recessed into it we have our Warren Xeon 12,000 pound winch. Just in case you guys get stuck out there you can pull yourself out. So over here on the driver's side of the vehicle, starting off, we have our Backwoods Adventure Mods roof rack and ladder. On top of the roof rack, we have two 200 watt solar panels, adding up for a total of 400 watts of solar. Behind the solar panels, we have our Dometic AC unit, helps keep you nice and cool dur during those hot summer nights. And then towards the front of the roof rack, we have our Dometic fan. Uh, it has a rain sensor on it, so if you're ever camping and starts raining in the middle of the night and you have that on, it'll just automatically turn off so you don't have to worry about water getting inside the van. Um, right here we have our Arctic Turn window. Opens up nice and wide so you can get nice airflow coming through the van. Um, and then mounted underneath the van, we have our 22 gallon gray water tank that connects up to the sink inside and then you can just dump that uh, whenever you need to. Over here at the side, we have our fresh water connect uh, that helps fill up that 32 gallon fresh water tank. And then right here, we have our 30 amp shore power plug-in to charge any of the batteries that you might need if you ever get to a camp that offers shore power. Uh, right here, we have our flare space flare outs, helps extend the bed by an extra four inches, allowing someone who's about six foot to sleep very comfortably inside of there. And then our wheels and tires, we have BF Goodrich tires, KO2s. Um, and then our wheels, we have black Rhino Arsenals that help give a nice aggressive look to the outside of the vehicle. So over here in the back of the van, we have our full trailer hookup. Uh, if you ever, don't ever plan on pulling a trailer, then no worries. If you ever want to put a bike rack on the back, you can hook that up to the trailer hitch mount. Um, and then opening up these doors, you can see they're full 180 degrees swing out. So whenever you're at camp and want to sit in your bed, enjoy the nice view that you're sitting at, um, you can have that view unobstructed when you have these doors fully out. These doors both also have two cubby spots that you can put whatever you want in there. In this cubby spot over here, we have our six setting shower hose. Um, has settings such as jet, shower, mist, cone, pretty much anything you'll find on a regular uh, outdoor shower hose. It's a quick connect system. As you can see, I just connect that very quickly. And then it has both cold and hot settings. And as you can see, the jet setting is super pressurized. So if you ever have some gear that you wanna put back here and you just got back from the trail, super muddy and dusty, you can just wash that off quick. Uh, and then you don't have to worry about getting the inside of here too messy. Um, so our water system, our fresh tank is 32 gallons. Um, that's a pretty big tank for inside of the van. And then our water heater is a four gallon water heater in here. Um, and then we have a diaphragm that connects up to the pump that helps keep it pressurized all the time. Um, so you don't ever have to worry about the water, waiting for water pressure to come. It's always right there when you need it. All right, now moving on to our power system that we have here in the van. Opening up this cabinet door, you can see that we have our 3000 watt inverter. And then above that, we have our solar isolator switch that helps control the solar panels. If you ever want to turn them off, you can. Then as you can see, all of these doors have nice ventilation on it. Uh, so if it gets too hot in here, it has a way to breathe. And opening up this cabinet door, you can see that we have our Lynx distributor and then our smart solar charger that just helps regulate charging the solar panels. And then back at the very top over there, we have our Orion charger that helps make you charge off the alternator when you're driving. And yeah, that's pretty much our whole power system right there. And then opening up this door, we have four 
100 amp hour batteries, uh, adding up for 400 amp hours of power that you have. Um, and then in the back, if you ever want to add on more batteries, there is space up there to add another battery. Uh, so if you need more power, you can. But I personally think that 400 amp hours is plenty enough to get you through whatever you need. All right, some other cool features that we have back here in the back of the van is this awesome shelf that we have. Uh, you can put your phone, water bottle, anything that you might need for the person on the left side of the van to have a space for all that. Uh, if you're not using it for that, then you can use it uh, in the garage space. So if you're ever working on something back here, you can put all your gear and stuff up here so you know where it's always at. Uh, it's just a nice organizational piece that you have uh, that I like a lot. Then right here next to the shower, we have our two uh, shower hooks that you can just put a towel, clothes. You can also attach the shower um, hose to it to just keep it mounted onto that. And then we have plenty of space back here. Uh, we were able to fit four full-size tires back here with no problem. Uh, you can also put anything like mountain bikes, fishing poles, skis. Pretty much any outdoor gear that you always use you can put back here we also have this nice rubber mat uh it's pretty durable it's water resistant and keeps all your gear from sliding around back here while you're driving it's not like the vinyl flooring we have up front it actually has grip to it so you can put gear back here and don't really have to worry about it jostling around messing up the paint and everything back here uh and then if you have longer gear like super long fishing poles or a long kayak we have a door up front that opens up so you can have it uh go into the kitchen space if you need to but yeah that's most of the cool stuff that we have back here and let's move on to the interior so as cool as the outside of the van is i like the inside even more and you can see for obvious reasons why it's got a really nice homey feeling to it uh so wherever you go it feels like you got home with you so starting off right here, we have our kind of mudroom area. This little cubby spot is just for you to put extra shoes or gear if you want to. And when you're inside of the van, you can just drop your shoes right here in the doorstep. Uh, so if they're dirty or muddy or anything, it keeps the dirt and mud out from the floor area. And then right here, we have our kind of dining spot. Uh, we have our lagoon swivel table. So you can move this in just about any direction that you want to. Uh, get it out of the way in the kitchen um, and then you can also move it to out over here outside if you want if you want to work uh, on a table you can and then you can also have it where it's set up like this and then you can have one person sitting in this seat and then one person sitting in the passenger seat and it's a nice dining table for you under this extra seat we have our storage under here under that storage you can put uh, composting toilet or cassette toilet if you ever please, if you ever want to. Um, otherwise, it's just a nice deep storage area for you to put just about anything that you want. Um, and then over here, getting into the vehicle, we have our Dometic fridge. Um, holds tons of food, beverages, pretty much anything that a regular house can have. And it also has a freezer up here, so if you really like ice cream or just want to freeze some of your meats, you can do that. Um, so one of my favorite features inside of the van here is our recessed lights. As you can see up here, it doesn't look like we have any lights, but they're actually recessed into the boards up here. So when you turn them on, you have full on lights. And then we also have lights underneath the kitchen cabinet uh, to help give you a lot of light when you're making dinner at night and stuff. We also have lights over here on a switch um, in the bed area, keep, give you a little bit of light in the bedroom. Um, one of the coolest features here in the kitchen is this window. Uh, all you have to do is just pop a couple of these tabs um, and then you can fully open it. it. Gives you a nice airflow throughout the van. So if you ever need to cool off, it's a good way to do it. Also another really awesome feature of this is pull down the screen for bugs, or if you need more privacy, you can pull up that um, and it gives you plenty of privacy. So if you're sleeping at night, you don't have to worry about anyone looking into the van. So right here we have our Summit cooktop. 
two burner. Uh, so if you ever need to cook two different things at once, it's very nice. A lot of vans only have one burner on it, so that's sweet. And then right here is awesome sink, super deep, so you can put just about anything in it, clean it, not worry about having it splash everywhere. This faucet's awesome because it has tons of pressure and it has two settings on it. So it has this nice washing setting and then just if you just want to fill up the water, you can do it that way. Um, you can move this any direction. You can even put it outside of the van if you want. Um, it has pretty much anything a regular house sink would have. It also has a cutting board that you can put on top of it. We just forgot to bring it out here. Uh, it has a soap dispenser on it. Um, and then our water actually runs at about 3.3 gallons per minute. Um, so you can pretty much run that for a decent amount of time and never have to worry about your 32 gallon fresh tank running out. So over here in the kitchen area, we also have our control panel area. If you turn on this switch right here, it turns on both of your fresh and gray water gauges. So you know how much water you got left in your fresh tank if you need to fill that up or if your gray tank's starting to get too full and you need to make sure you dump that. Um, we also have both the switches for the kitchen overhead lights and the overhead lights in the entire van. And then we have our Victron Energy battery monitor helps uh, let you know how much power you're pulling right now um, and how much power's coming in. And then we have our spice rack right here. If you just want to put spices here, you can. Or if you want to put a little plant, just about anything can fit in there. Nice and easy and super secure. We also have a outlet right here if you need to charge anything or run anything off of that for the kitchen. And then we also have our S-Bar diesel heater uh, control right here. You can set temperature. Um, so if you're ever camping, we're living in this when it's super cold out. Uh, you don't have to worry about the inside of the van being super cold as well. Uh, that diesel heater is mounted under the passenger seat right here. You can get to it. There's a little uh, panel that you can pull out on the side over there. So if you ever need to get in there, you can, but you shouldn't be able to. This thing gets super hot. Uh, so the inside of the van warms up very quickly, which is super nice on winter nights or winter days than when you're out in this. In here, we also have our gray water dump switch. Um, so you can just hit the switch and you don't have to worry about doing, uh, dumping your gray water manually. Uh, just make sure you're dumping your gray water in a safe spot to do so. Uh, we also have our water heater switch uh, timer. So it takes about 30 minutes for the water to heat up. So you have hot water inside the van coming out of the sink or back in the shower out there. So you actually have quite a bit of counter space here in the kitchen as well to work with. You have this spot right here, this spot over here, and then you can also put in the cutting board in the sink to work for work as more uh, counter space in the kitchen. And then you look over here and then there's kind of this extra little island area and then the kitchen table as well. So that all adds up to a lot of space for you to work on it here in the kitchen. Uh, you might think that this is just your regular countertop, and it can work as that. But uh, when you put this little card right here you have on your key, uh, right up against this, you'll hear that little beep. And then you can open this up uh, to a deep storage area that's locked with this RFID scanner. Um, super discreet. Uh, you can put pretty much anything you want in there from laptop, camera, Phone, wallet, any sort of valuables uh, can be locked up in there, no problem. And there's no indicator over here that shows that there's an RFID scanner right there. So that's just for you to know, so you can keep all your valuables safe. Um, yeah. So moving on to the bedroom area, uh, right here we have our four inch memory foam, queen size mattress, super comfortable. You can sleep like a baby in here, especially if once you have all the windows blacked out with our blackout um, curtains that we have. They just mount on magnetically to each of the windows, uh, mounts onto the window here in the flare out, as well as the two back windows um, in the rear of the van and the slide sliding door uh, window. We have 
a curtain for that as well as up front we have a curtain to block out all the sun up there um up above the bed we have our two overhead cabinets both on glass struts as well uh, both also have outlets inside of them this is just a nice area for you to keep your clothes and whatnot they have two little cubbies on each side um so you can divide up shirts pants underwear socks all that good stuff um inside of the flare out over here we have a usb mount right here uh usb c so if you want to charge your phone you can charge it off that in the night and then we also have the light switch right there so you can turn that on or off um so up above the bed right here we have our dometic ac unit um gets down to 62 degrees uh and then it also has three vents that you can point in just about any direction this thing's super awesome on hot summer nights right above the bed so you don't have to worry about just being super uncomfortable while you're sleeping it also has a controller on it so it's kind of hard to reach from the kitchen over here but since you have that controller you can uh, control the temperature with it with no problem um also talking about more ventilation over here we have our dometic fan um all you have to do is just click this switch right here um opens up the vent and then it has two modes on it both push uh, which pushes the air into the van and then pull which pulls the air out of the van so if you're cooking right here um we can pull all that out with no issues so up front in the front of the van here we have our push to start on the steering wheel we have volume control um, just about anything you can control from just the steering wheel right here and then one of the coolest features up front here is this 10 inch display um can control tons of apps in here weather maps um, info about the vehicle if you want to see any of that which you can already see in the front dash here uh, media so any sort of music you're playing while you're driving super awesome display super responsive and everything i've never had any issues with it um, then we also have plenty of cup holders uh, we have four just right here one right here another one right there another sweet thing about up front here is these storage areas um, in here we have USB-C outlets you can put your phone in there um, charge it while you're driving and stuff there's another storage area right there so if you need to keep any important documents or whatever it's a good spot to keep it um, up here we also have just regular overhead reading lights um, and then two overhead storage areas um, that's pretty much the main things about the front of the van here that Oh, wait, I uh, we also have power seats right here, so not manual at all. And then you also have all the switches for the light bars just right here um, for you to switch on nice and easily. Uh, yeah. Thanks for checking out our Mercedes Spur Van build out we have here. If you're interested in the van, please contact us at nomadicrigs at gmail.com and or follow us on our social medias on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube.